Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with the Yurixville First Midvale in Newport United Methodist Church. And I have a devotion we'll share with you out of the book of Zechariah, and it's Zechariah 9, verse 9. And this is a very key verse because, as we've talked in the past, you remember the Jewish people, they rejected Jesus as their Messiah because they were expecting some kind of conquering king. They weren't expecting a, a self-sacrificing Messiah. But here's one of the verses that are in the Old Testament that points to the fact that their Messiah would be a servant, that their Messiah would come humbly. And it says, Rejoice, O people of Zion! Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem! Your, look, your king is coming! He is righteous and victorious, yet he is humble, riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. And this was used to show the image that their Messiah would be humble. And the people of Israel, they would focus on this on this verse, and they would see that it says righteous and victorious. So they were automatically thinking that he is a righteous and victorious conqueror, that he came and he defeated all their enemies. But what they didn't realize is this verse was talking about the victory that Christ would have over sin. And this is talking about his triumphal entry into Jerusalem, his triumphal entry to take up the cross for you and I. And I, I like this verse, he is righteous and victorious, but the opponent that he is righteous and victorious is the opponent of sin, it is Satan himself. You see, before their Messiah came as a conquering king, Jesus first came as a as a, the Lamb of God, as a, as a servant king who would die for the sins of his people. And this is the kind of king that you and I serve. We serve a king who sacrificed himself for his subjects. And you will never, ever find another king in history who sacrificed himself for his subjects. Uh, the kings of history are always the, the kings of, the, they're always very proud, and they're, they're always the kings that, that surround themselves with ornate things and very prideful in their achievement. And they're always, they always lord over the people, as we looked at yesterday, the kind of leaders of the world that lord over the people. But our king is a king who loved us so much that he came and sacrificed himself on the cross. And so he came humbly ready to take the cross to die for your and I's sins. But don't misunderstand, because when he comes again, he will not come as a humble servant. He will come as a conquering king, as the Lion of Judah. And he will come as the long-awaited Messiah the Jewish people have been waiting for. And when he comes again, he will defeat all of our enemies and all of Jerusalem's enemies. And he will finally put Satan to rest and defeat, or defeat Satan and, put, uh, and defeat all of uh, evil. That is the king that we serve. A king who is humble, yet a king who has the authority to conquer. So my message for you today is to serve this king. Amen.